Good morning and welcome to yet another exciting segment right here on Africa's Biggest and Brightest with myself, Alicia Jali. Now joining me in studio today is the Honorable Dr. Chooks Erasius, AK, who is actually a senior lecturer at the University of Pretoria, who also holds a doctorate in management. So welcome to Good Morning Africa. Thank you very much. It's uh, good to be here. Lovely to have you in studio, sir. Thank now, you. Now tell us about your work. You, you hold a doctorate in, in, in management and you're also a senior lecturer at the University of Pretoria. Please take us through that. Correct. Um, well, I've been at the University of Pretoria since the year 2006. Mm -hmm. And my major areas of interest uh, in research basically are in monitoring and evaluation and improvement mm -hmm. of business development uh, okay. decisions. Um, we have, well, I have dribbled into the area mm -hmm. of monitoring and evaluation because of the consequence, mm -hmm. you know, and the effect that it has on development generally okay. in society. And there is no continent in the world, you know, that deserves a lot of attention in terms of management development as mm -hmm. Africa does, does deserve. Mm -hmm. We find ourselves in Africa today in an underdeveloped state mm -hmm. for one simple reason, purely poor management. Mm. Okay, now when you're speaking of management, are you talking of management with, with um, systems or in the governance? Which areas are you exactly talking about there? It's a very broad scope. Mm -hmm. uh, management in terms of governance and management in terms of systems. Okay. Uh, if the systems are not right and governance isn't right, mm -hmm. then surely results will not be delivered. Mm -hmm. And the whole point of monitoring and evaluation is to ensure that whatever systems or processes, policies, programs, and projects that we put in place mm -hmm. do indeed generate the kind, right kind of results. Okay. All right. Now, Doctor, let's talk about the core of monitoring and evaluating um, projects. What exactly does that entail? Well, well basically, um, it's not rocket science. <laughs> um, monitoring and evaluation comes in two major parts. Mm -hmm. You have the traditional monitoring and evaluation, okay. which has been around with us for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but the approach of, of this book, which has been published, is that it is uh, based upon a results-based management approach. Mm -hmm. And before we dwell into that, we need to get a very good understanding of what a result is. Okay. In technical terms, we describe a result as a change in behavior, mm -hmm. especially of the people. Mm -hmm. And in the area of results-based management, there are two or three levels of results. You mm -hmm. have the results levels of outputs, mm -hmm. of outcomes, mm -hmm. and of impacts. Okay. But generally, what we find is that societies, or rather government, mm -hmm. and, and uh, some private institutions celebrate uh, achievement of the result level of output. Mm -hmm. But that is only the first level of result. Indeed, okay. any success celebrated that doesn't bring circuit to the people is not it's a success not successful. at all. Mm. Um, so we need to uh, have some kind of paradigm shift. We need to come mm -hmm. to realization that uh, a change that doesn't impact on the people mm -hmm. is no change at all. Mm -hmm. That there is a difference between means mm -hmm. and ends. And the school, the road, the hospital mm -hmm. are merely means. If those means do not generate an end, then they They're are not useless. Successful. So, mm -hmm. so the whole point of monitoring and evaluation is to create some kind of mechanism or system that tells us where we are yes, as definitely. we attempt to progress towards the achievement mm. of the result. Right, Doctor, that's a great example. Thank you. All right, now, but Doctor, explain to us why, what is the importance of, of monitoring and evaluations of all these projects? Okay, clearly, um, we live in an underdeveloped society. Mm -hmm. The underdevelopment in Africa is not so much because of a lack of commitment mm -hmm. in the sense of investment in infrastructure by government. Mm. Indeed, across many states in Africa, there's a lot of investment in infrastructure. However, the inf investment in infrastructure is not generating the benefits that it should generate. True. Uh, simply because we are not keeping track mm. of whether those benefits are being generated. Mm. Monitoring systems therefore allow us to demonstrate unequivocally, you know, very transparently, that we're able with facts and figures to meet objectives that we have set for ourselves. Mm, and also, we, Doctor, you also mentioned that we have these projects where we have these white elephants that are left and people are not able to complete them. Correct. So is it part of the, the results of not them being monitored and evaluated the whole time? Well, correct, in a sense. Mm. Uh, most of those projects are created out of a peddling mentality. Okay. Uh, people just create solutions when they do not, first of all, understand the problem. Mm. And, and what we prescribe in monitoring and evaluation for it to be worthy of all the effort mm -hmm. is to ensure that the solution prescribed does speak to a problem. Mm. So the start point of all of this 
is to identify, analyze, and understand the problem mm. so that you can prescribe the solution. Definitely. You, you take a very simple example. The doctor doesn't just throw panado at you. No. Yeah. The doctor needs to engage with you. Exactly. That's some yeah. form of partnership. Mm -hmm. He engages with you in order to get a good understanding of, of the problem you that feeling. you have, mm -hmm. which will then serve as a precursor for the prescription of the solution. Mm -hmm. Without a good understanding of the problem, we will have schools standing, mm -hmm. not changing anything. We will have, as it is in the South African case, for instance, mm -hmm. a lot of money being spent on distribution of condoms. The question mm -hmm. we must ask is, has it reduced the, the spread the or the of scourge mm. of HIV and mm. AIDS? Mm. Certainly not. Certainly. You know, so we must go back and articulate that problem properly From the beginning, so yeah. that we can understand what solution will speak to it. This mm. cannot be done without a tacit cooperation of the people themselves mm. who will also demonstrate whether the results have been achieved. Wow. Or not. Oh, yeah. Wow, Doctor. Okay, let's talk about your book now. I see a very bright red book there. Please take us through. Well, um, monitoring and evaluation of projects, of programs, and of, of policies was put together uh, by myself and some academics uh, in, in the Western Cape, wow. um, two professors in the Western Cape. Mm -hmm. The reason this book was put together was because many people were wallowing in the abyss of lack of knowledge oh. as to how to monitor and evaluate. Mm. The South African case is a good one, and, and, and the government has indeed, in South Africa, set up um, some unit in the presidency mm -hmm. for monitoring and evaluation because wow. they take it seriously. Mm -hmm. The trouble, however, is that very simplistic concepts and notions mm -hmm. are not clearly understood. Mm -hmm. This is the aim of the book, okay. to demystify this arena of monitoring and evaluation. Mm -hmm. If you take a simple case, I said to you earlier that results are defined in monitoring and evaluation in, in three levels, yes. outputs, outcomes, and impact. Yes. An output is certainly different from an outcome. Definitely. But if you ask the average practitioner in government or in private practice mm -hmm. what the difference is, they will be unable to tell you. Mm. But clearly, this book demonstrates that difference. Okay. And it's very simple. An output refers to what you put out. What you put out. I just say, you know, reverse those words is yes. an amalgamation or marriage of two words. Output, what you put out. So I put out a certain product. Mm -hmm. The fact that I put it out does not mean that I have been successful. Mm -hmm. My success is defined by what I get out of mm -hmm. the product mm -hmm. that I have put out, which is then an outcome. An okay. outcome asks the question, what has been the result of the school that was planted in the community? True. What has been the result of the roads that were constructed in the state or in the province? Mm -hmm. What has been the result of the stadium that was built? If there has not been any tangible, describable, measurable, and demonstrable mm -hmm. results in those areas, then those, those infrastructures or those activities, whatever they may be, projects, programs, or policies have been in vain. Mm -hmm. so, so the central point is really uh, to measure our success on the basis of outcomes, mm -hmm. not outputs, mm -hmm. because outcomes describe people. Mm -hmm. Outcomes describe people and change in the lives of the people. Wow. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us in studio today. But if people need more information on where to get the book, to get hold of you for this expert advice, how can they do so? Well, they can reach me by email. Um, mm -hmm. And the book is available in a number of bookshops, okay. especially the academic okay. bookshops, which are around the universities. Mm -hmm. uh, my email, however, is a pretty long one. Okay. chooks.eresiaak mm -hmm. at up. Dot AC dot ZA. But I'm sure it will scroll on the screen if it's possible. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Doctor. And best of luck with the book. All right. Thank, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. I lie if I say I have not been appreciative of the platform to share my thoughts and views with the rest of Africa. Thank you, Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doctor. Well, there you have it, Africa. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of this very exciting and insightful interview with the Honorable Doctor right here. It's time for us to go, but remember, should you require more information on the show, do not hesitate to send us that email to gma at planetimage.co.za. And with that said, it's bye from us from now. Back to the guys in studio. <laughs>